Hey, today we're going to go over how to uh, perform an adhesion test. And, uh, this is applicable to Liquitec, Garland's White Knight Plus, CPR, any elastomeric coating for single ply roofs, metal roofs, and modified bitumen. So in the kit, there's going to be several components, all you need to do the test. Okay, in this particular adhesion test, we're testing adhesion of our Garland's two-part Liquitec polyurea system over modified bitumen granule. So before you apply the product, the first thing we did here is we apply some tape um, on both sides that's a little bit larger than the, the inch wide fabric strip. And then uh, you're going to take this particular product requires mixing. For this adhesion test, we pour the part B component, which is the activator, into the part A. And it's going to require mixing with the spatula vigorously for about a minute. Okay, after your minute, of mixing. Now the catalyst will do its trick. You're going to take your paintbrush that's included in the kit and you're going to want to get a good healthy amount of product down because you want, you're going to need to embed your polyester fabric strip. So you apply enough down, you take your polyester strip which is Garland's Grip Polyester Soft and you're going to embed um, a little bit more than half of the fabric. So it's going to be probably about six inches of fabric that is embedded into the, in this case, the Liquitec polyurea. And essentially we want to embed it in very, very well and make good contact with the roof substrate. So I'll take a top coat layer to apply over the top and that will embed it very well. Um, then here's a, a little trick you're going to need. This is nice to do to help you uh, discourage wind from taking that flap and putting it back into the coating. So, and you would apply these at least two samples on a, a typical size roof. If it's a very large roof, you may end up with three or four or five. And you might want to put them in other areas where there's sun versus not sun or changes in, in types of roof direction that kind of thing, because we want to take an average to get a good feel for whether this is going to pass the test or not. Once you do this, you um, are going to come back seven days later. Uh, unhook your little dab area that provided wind, wind uplift resistance. And what you're going to do is tie a knot and tie it around the hook of the fish scale. You don't want to poke a hole in this with a razor blade because it will just tear. So if you would take this, you would tie your knot and then eventually you're going to then hook this into that and tie it nice and tight. And then you're going to be ready to do your pull test. Okay, we've tied the knot nicely into the hook, tied it very tightly. And, but before we do that, we always want to make sure very lightly score with a tight, with a sharp razor knife around the fabric just to make sure when we do our pull test that we're just going to get the inch wide uh, value on this test. So um, sometimes if it goes in the hold feature, you might have to reboot, which we're going to do here. And you, get, you want it in the pounds. You're going to want to pull straight back as we go. And you can see uh, values looking pretty good, 10, 9. We're ultimately going to find out if the adhesion is four pounds per linear inch or greater. And if so, that means uh, that that particular coating or fluid applied product is going to be have sufficient adhesion for that type of membrane. So 8.9 would be a pass. This is indicating that this is a cohesive failure, which is actually very good. You want to see some product left behind on the substrate and some on the fabric. 